New at 11 tonight, a controversial bill to clamp down on rioting is moving quickly through the Florida legislature. The bill is a top priority of Republican state leadership, including the governor, but critics call it an assault on freedom of speech. On your side's David Jones is breaking down the bill's provisions in an upcoming protest against it here on the First Coast. House Bill 1 is titled Combating Public Disorder, a top legislative priority for Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, which he first announced in the wake of nationwide protests following the murder of George Floyd. The bill would heighten criminal penalties for anyone arrested in a protest that turns violent. It would create a new criminal offense called mob intimidation. It would toughen penalties for crimes already in the books if those crimes are part of a, quote, riot, a term the bill doesn't define. It would also allow residents to challenge their local government if it reduces the budget of its police force, even allowing the governor and the state to modify that municipality's budget. Critics have slammed the legislation as an affront to free speech and assembly. I was recently asked, uh, how can we make this bill better? You can shred it. Violence committed by an individual is not acceptable. Violence committed by a large group of people together is even worse. Despite opposition by Democrats and nearly 70 speakers, the bill passed along party lines at a Florida House subcommittee this week. It's expected it will ultimately be approved alongside its companion bill in the Senate. This proposed legislation is militaristic, extreme, and even dangerous. Ben Frazier is president of the Northside Coalition. His and other local activist groups plan to protest the bill. It's just a Republican stunt, a trick designed to stop the rising tide of protests, which were prompted initially by the police-involved death of George Floyd. David Jones, First Coast News, on your side.